Now, right now we do have team coverage of what's happening there. Kelsey McFarland is outside where the protesters are and Sean Delancey is inside. So let's go ahead and start with Sean here. Um, you've been there for a little while. Can you tell us what's going on inside right now? Yeah, Kalina, well, right now, Michelle Fiore is still sitting on the council just a few feet, uh, uh, seats down, rather, from her likely replacement as Mayor Pro Tem, Councilman uh, Stavros Anthony. Uh, but right now, he's facing a little bit of controversy of his own. The NAACP is here to protest Anthony Fiore and Councilwoman Victoria Seaman's support of a planned Blue Lives Matter march here in Las Vegas that was since canceled. In an exclusive interview, Anthony says in his 10 years on the council, he has attended hundreds hundreds of pro-police events, and he didn't see this one as any different. He says if the council wants to vote him in as Mayor Pro Tem in two weeks, he will accept it and continue to support law enforcement with events like that Blue Lives Matter march. There are people out there and groups out there that hate the police, that want to defund the police, that want to eliminate police departments, and um, I just thought it was another opportunity to, to really get folks together and support law enforcement. To now this shakeup in leadership is happening as the city tries to right the fiscal ship during the coronavirus pandemic. For example, the city just approved two major contracts with the fire department's union and the employees union that could save the government money in the long term. We really expect the fireworks to kick up here at the meeting once they allow public comment, uh, but people have already started uh, to, to really speak out outside and that's where we find Kelsey McFarland. Kelsey, what are we seeing out there right now? Well, Sean, it has been a peaceful protest so far today. At one point, there were hundreds of people on these desks, but you can see those numbers have dwindled. They're now starting to filter inside. They're grabbing a number to head inside City Hall Chambers as that building is at capacity. I want to show you some video from the protest just a few hours ago. Now, activist groups, including the NAACP and the ACLU, are here to express their anger with City Council. Of course, a hot topic, Councilwoman Michelle Fiore. Protesters say it's not enough that she stepped down from her position as Mayor Pro Tem. They want her off the Council altogether. Now, this comes after Fiore was accused of making racial remarks at a conference earlier this month. And we're here to speak today on the record to our mayor and our Las Vegas City Council people to make sure that they know that their biases, their lack of leadership that's taken place, and their racial tone will not be tolerated by the black community. Protesters also against the City Council's decision to ban backpacks, strollers, and carts at protests. Is that oh they use these bags to carry rocks and things to riot, but they don't mention the fact that the police are going out there antagonizing people, right? We've witnessed it. We've saw it of police drive around and just snatch folks down. They snatch down legal observers. Now I did speak to one man who came to city council today to speak in support of Michelle Fiore and against Black Lives Matter. We'll have much more details at uh, the three o'clock hour. Reporting live, I'm Kelsey McFarland, 13 Action News.